Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats as this evening's performance will commence in five minutes. My particular um, gig this year is to empower and engage young people and secondly to connect people to their own local history, not least in Sheppel where I live. And I thought how can I combine that? The power of having so many grandparents, older siblings watching their kids dancing on stage made me think it's just powerful. You get the kids together on stage everybody will come. And so it was like, if I get them on stage, then we can tell a story. If I'd said I'm going to tell you a story about Road 9, they'd be running for cover. It's a really nice way to get over a serious point about Stephen's history. Oh, Grandpa, we found your notebook. You must have dropped out the canyon. Hello there, Sky. Indeed I did. Do you know, I thought if I retraced my steps, I might find it. Thank you so much. Do you know, I've just been on a lovely history walk all about Fairlands Valley, and I didn't want to lose my notes, so thank you. By the way, did I just see you guys having great fun on the climbing wall? Did you have fun? Oh, oh yes. yes. We did, Grandpa. By the way, we all doing a school project about the environment. It would be great if you could help us. Well, that rather depends on what it's about, Sky. By the way, I'm assuming that these are your friends? Yes, we all go to school together and do some scout stuff too. You know, Stevenage has always been a really great place for children's play. I remember, I remember my mum, my old mum and all the other mums. Way back in the 1950s, a long time ago, they made a huge amount of noise with the Development Corporation. That's the people who built the town and with the local councils. We all had to make a lot of noise to get the facilities we've got in Stevenage. Stevenage! is a djembe player and I'm going to be doing it with my friends today. We're going to be uh, in bringing an intro and an outro on djembe drums. I think it's incredibly special to be doing what we're doing here today in this amazing place with so many seats and everything so everyone can see us. important to remember our past because we need to make sure that we remember who we came from and who helped us to get to where we are today. environment so inspir inspirational messages yeah I just think the more things that we do to bring up uh, these problems is the more likely things can be done about it guys seriously I do feel that you could do a really great project on children's play in Stevenage, perhaps the, the adventure playgrounds at Banley Hill or the Canyon. You know, they really were famous in the early days. 
This event's to do with the environment and one of the main things they're talking about is the canyon and how it's operated over the years. Well I'm going back in my time when I moved to Stevie with my family in 1951 as a very small child and I spent all my 50, in all the 50s going through Monkswood, Womley Wood down through the farm's field to the canyon. 70 years down the line, I'm now looking after it as a, for the Scout Association with more activities going on down there. In the fields and the streets and the parks. In actual fact, it was all play, play, play. I'm Zara Richards, I run Warriors Performing Arts Academy, which is a street dance performing arts school. Um, it was a great opportunity to be involved in the Mayor's Concert today. It was something different this year, it was about environment. It was really nice that we were doing like a theme instead, it wasn't just a routine. We were coming together with one show, it was great. don't understand the problems we have with litter and fly tipping um, and all the problems that that brings to a town. It can all seem like litter, litter, litter. I'm with Footworks and today we're dancing at the Mayor's Charity event. I feel very lucky to be dancing on stage today. Some people aren't always 100% sure on recycling, for example, what to do and what impact recycling, what different differences we can make as a community, as a society, to change and make the world a better place. So at Footwork School of Dance, we encourage recycling crisp packets. So obviously we have a tuck shop for the kids and every now and then when they have their break, we make sure we have a recycling bin so they know where to put their rubbish. So they have a bin at home as well as at dance because I think some people just find a bin and they go for a bin. So during rehearsals, during their break, they recycle their crisp packets, spreading the awareness. Our environment, one world. When I was your age, we used our bikes. Everybody used their bikes all the time. Us for going to school, our parents for going to work, and even doing the shopping. Do you know, but there was actually a complete storm of protest when somebody proposed putting a full dual carriageway road right through the middle of Fairlands Valley. Can you imagine that? Right through the valley. And that's what the, the talk and the walk I was on this morning was all about. The road itself, the dual carriageway road, would have run exactly through where we're standing now, right in front of the canyon. No way! That's a truly horrible idea. It was never going to happen. Well, the wheels of government do turn slowly, but I learned from, from the mayor himself today, and I've got a note of it here. Um, he said that the Road 9 scheme, that's what it was called, Road 9, and it didn't get ab abandoned until 19, 1978. And that was 10 years after the youngsters with their placards all went demonstrating up at County Hall. By that time, of course, they'd all left. Uh, by 1978, they'd left. They'd gone to work and, and got married even. My gosh, to save the valley. 
How time flies. So I'm here with um, Martins with Primary School. The kids have been working really hard over the last um, uh, few weeks, practicing every every couple of days with each other. The theme of the show is our, our environment, one world, and um, our school at uh, Martins Woods. We've been um, moving and making changes uh, to what we do at school. So recently, we've got rid of giving out paper letters to all the parents, and we've moved it all to an online system where parents can check on there to make sure that we're helping within. And also recently, we signed up um, with some other environment um, little charities, and now we make sure that all the glue sticks and pens also go into special boxes and they go off. So we're doing our part of the environment. Any more ideas for projects? Well, I did think I could also do something on my project on Fairlands Valley Park. My dad thought it would be a great topic because we come here all the time. I love the water park and I've had a go on the high ropes and I've done the dragon boats on the lake. Dad walks our dog every day in this park. Every day? Wow, that's good. I tell you what, we could use some of my notes that um, I made this morning. Um, the lakes, the lakes over there, um, wonderful as they are, it's hard to remember or hard to point out that they were open nearly 50 years ago. And the trees there were like matchsticks when they, when they were first planted. And I remember Marriott's Farm. You know Marriott's Farm? Still there, of course, or, or just about. But my friends in the council do tell me that Fairlands Valley is voted the premier attraction, attraction in Stevenage every year. It really is the jewel in our crown in so many ways. Do you know, we really fought for the valley. I had a picture of myself in the local paper. I should have bought it um, today. I could have shown you. Well, that would have been fun. When we went to County Hall with our placards and we were demonstrating, it was a great day out. Fancy being told to make as much noise as you can. <laughs> we didn't need any second bidding, I can tell you. But Save the Valley was the other initiative, and they did just that. They did just that. All the way from down by the football ground, through the valley, past the canyon, up to the lakes. Tell me another town which has got a, its own lake area to be enjoyed by the whole uh, population. And it is the, the Stevens Valley, um, Fairlands Valley, should I say, is voted every year as the main attraction of Stevenage. It's known as the jewel in the crown. And I support that. Come on, Stevenage! nice for the dance schools to come together as you saw like footwork so a bit more like lyrical and um, technique based and we're very street dance based so it's nice for the dancers to meet each other and work together and it was just great building up getting involved working towards something different and coming together today with other dance schools and performing it was great fun the 
Any ideas? Well, I want to do something about us kids being actually listened to. You know, properly. Honestly, you'd think grown-ups would really understand that it's us young people that will have to live with whatever environment there's going to be. Like for what, 20, even 30 years or whatever. You know, I think I want to do something about just that. Us kids as leaders. Us being listened to for a change and respected. Stuff like that. That's excellent. What an excellent idea. I do agree. Do you know, I learned, I learned about leadership in the Scouts. It was great fun all those years ago. It was great fun. It's lovely to see our Mayor um, putting on an event focused on the environment, particularly this year when um, we've just declared our climate emergency in Stevenage and we're well on the way to putting together an action plan and a people's assembly so we talk to the people of Stevenage about how they want us to tackle our pledge to get to zero carbon by 2030. Everybody, 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 cut, foot loose. Yeah. You've come up with some really, really good projects. Now, one more show. We've got children's play. We've got litter. We've got roads, cars, bikes, and the Fairlands Valley. <coughs> and we've got leadership, pure and simple leadership. Well done. Oh, that's brilliant, Grandpa. Thank you so much. You've been brill. Yes, guys, we can do this. Yes, yes we can! Come on. Well, it's a real pleasure to be here this evening in Stevenage in the Gordon Craig Theatre and to celebrate the Mayor's concert uh, representing the uh, environment as well and also recognising the development of Stevenage as a new town, one of the original new towns in Hertfordshire and to see how it's developed over the years and also to see how people have actually helped shape the development of the new town. Today's show was um, a really good opportunity to connect the grandparents of Stevenage and their story of the early pioneered years of the town with their grandchildren, great-grandchildren. You don't really know the story about Fairlands Valley Park and why it's a lovely park it is. The canyon that was an infamous wild player. For years and years, this lovely lady Betty Pickerskill and her friend Pat and a few of her mates and especially other women got together and they were really big champions for play. Oh, I think it went really well. I mean, I've got to say, I'm biased, but I don't think it could have gotten better for my friend Jim, my deputy mayor, to say we pretty much nailed it. I think it sums it up. I think we got it right, the kids enjoyed themselves, the audience clearly appreciated, and it was a big audience, so I'm delighted. <laughs> <laughs> 